What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple way to create animated pop-ups in your videos. If you're a YouTuber or any type of videos for social media, you're often going to have perhaps screenshots, logos, or buttons and icons that you reference in your videos that you want to introduce on the screen. So instead of just dragging it in like normal and just having it pop in and out with no slick animation, we're gonna head over to the effects control panel and use a couple position and scale keyframes to make it look a little bit more visually pleasing. So first of all, I could leave that in the middle, but I'm just gonna put it in the top right here. I feel like it looks better. Wherever you have room for your pop-up might be different for your video. Next, you also wanna make sure you have the timing right. So if I wanted to pop up from five to 10 seconds here, perhaps when I'm talking about it in the video or if it matches the narration. And now I'm going to go to the very beginning of this clip and click the stopwatch icon to turn on animation for the scale keyframes. So keyframes are just basically a way to animate from one amount of scale to the other. So here on the first position, let's start it off at zero scale. That's basically going to make it invisible or not on the screen yet. And then if we move over just a couple frames, let's just say five to 10 frames, I'm gonna make it go all the way up to 110. Now that's a little bit larger than 100% because this is gonna give us a little bit of a bounce when I move even way over a few more keyframes and let it slowly go down to 100. So if I play that back, you'll see what it looks like. Pops in and then slowly goes back to 100. But you will have to adjust the timing to make it perfect for you. So maybe I'll squeeze it in to pop in a little bit closer and also bring everything together and I can also right click on the keyframes and choose something like ease in instead of just linear and perhaps ease out of the middle keyframe. And that'll change the velocity of things so it's a bit more smooth looking. So you can basically adjust these three keyframes to make it pop up exactly how you want. You can also add sound effects if you want. You can use the YouTube audio library to find a free pop sound effect. Since I'm recording with my mic here, I'm gonna just make a sound effect. I've got the palm of my hands suction cup together and I'm just gonna make a pop sound effect. Maybe I'll use that for my sound effect and cut it out later. And now if we want, you can use that same set of keyframes in reverse to make a pop out animation. So I can actually just copy this set of keyframes by command C and command Ving, and then just make sure they're in the right order. So last one goes first, first one goes in the middle, and so on. So now we have the same pop out as we popped it in. And you can basically use this for screenshots, logos, PNGs and icons, or any type of pop-up that you want to display on your screen. These are just screenshots, the subscribe button I made in Photoshop, and these are just logos that are available online. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It showed you how to use keyframes in a really simple way to create a pop-up animation. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future, and go follow me on social media at Justin Show to stay in touch with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.